Alan Turing was a really famous British mathematician and uh, he's especially famous for his uh, provocative notions about artificial intelligence and he asked this question that can machines think? Which brings us actually to chatterbots which are sort of simulations of, of thinking machines or uh, characters that try to uh, emulate uh, normal human-to-human -human, uh, conversations. The Turing Machine Opera and the Turing Enigma Bot were the two second experimental projects of Taik University for Art and Design Helsinki within the Salara project. We collaborated with Opera Scala in creating the Turing Machine Opera. For the opera we created the whole visualization done in 3D and the scenography. So the opera consisted of uh, about eight scenes and we had uh, 16 movie clips to use, use there in the visualization. And uh, in one of the scenes we used the same elements that we used for the, the bot in the internet. In the Turing Enigma bot, Alan Turing's soul has entered the Enigma machine. And you can ask Alan Turing questions, you can talk to him, and he will respond in different kinds of answers, sentences, which reflect the values and the life of Alan Turing himself. We actually took an existing open source chatterbot Alice from the internet, and I, I just started to, on top of Alice's uh, dialogue, I started to edit whatever things Alan would say instead of Alice. Which was fun because a <laughs> fun and painful process as well because there's something like, I, I don't know, 50,000 lines of dialogue. So I had to change everything. We wanted to do a bit more, with a bit different uh, approach to the Alice bot and we we created the visual world behind it. So along with the text uh, you get sort of when you are asking questions from the bot, uh, you get visual answers as well. We had created two different uh, masks that represented, one represented more uh, death and feminine side and one represented more the masculine side and maybe more a sort of the real world. And uh, we, with Salary Tools, we, we created different uh, states, emotional states, and we exported those uh, states that we used in, in the Moscow tool. That was the UPF tool for creating uh, different faces. We exported those faces out from that tool and imported those with the very friendly help from Alan Evans from UPF uh, into 3D Max, which was the program that we used for 3D in the project. And the bot continues to be online and we continue to develop it also alongside with the developing new tools that are available to us through the Salero project. Today, uh, film industry is looking for kind of added value services that you can put on the top of the film or top of the drama. It seems that this idea of an artificial character that you attached to a ready-made plot is rather working. People enjoy building that relationship to their favorite character.